Hi, and welcome to Simple Spirituality PH. So for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Regine. I am an intuitive tarot reader, I'm a Reiki healer, and an overall light worker. Now, before we dive into today's episode, I would like to invite everyone who would like to receive notifications of my new videos to please hit the subscribe button below. If you like this video later on, please hit the thumbs up. If you have any comments or suggestions you want to say hey, just comment down below. And if you would like your very own tarot reading or Reiki healing session with me, online for now, of course, here are the details. Now, let's start with the video. So, in these past few weeks, I have been getting the prompt to talk about self-concept, okay? Self-concept and how it's really connected to spirituality and how to make self-concept work for you in order to give you a better life in, in general, okay? So, our definition of self-concept for the purpose of this video will be who you thought you were in the past, who you think you are now, and who you want to be in the future. So it is the totality of who we think we are and who we want to be, the person we want to be in the future, okay? And this is very important. This is a very crucial step to living a harmonious life with ourselves and with others as well. And this is because in our world, we are all connected. And again, in our world, like attracts like. So let's say, for example, that our self-concept of ourself is negative, then everyone will now pick up on that energy, on that negativity, and treat us according to that baseline. Your self-concept is the baseline by which everyone will now be signaled to treat you as such, okay? It is kind of like the framework. It is the permission, quote unquote, although, that's kind of a bad word to, to use, but it is the baseline by which people will now treat us. So you really have to think about what your self-concept is. What are you believing, feeling, thinking, focusing on about yourself? And what signal does that give out to other people? Okay, so let's say, for example, that for me, because I used to be obese in the past, I have struggled with obesity in my life. And when I was in that particular um, state uh, in my life, I would really think that I was unattractive, that I was, you know, that my fat was really getting in the way of me meeting other people, making new friends, you know, meeting potential suitors, um, and really just making myself miserable in general. And that was my self-concept. That was the story that I was telling to myself. And guess what? That's what that's how people treated me in general. I at that state in my life, I did not get a lot of friends. You know, I didn't meet a lot of new friends. I didn't meet a lot of potential suitors or potential um, boyfriends at the time. And I was really in a state of just not really miserable in general, but sad. I was sad. I was lonely. I was unhappy with how my life was going. And then I realized that that was all just something that I was telling myself. That was a negative self-concept that I was telling myself. I even had the self-concept that I was emotionally unavailable. And of course, if you want to get into a relationship with people, not just romantic, but with friends as well, you know, if you want to meet other people and you want to make them your friend, you want to have um, lots of friends to, to really enjoy life with, you know, being emotionally available is very important. It plays a big role in your life in general. So that was a self-concept that I was telling myself, or rather that was a self-concept that I had. And those were the stories that were going on in my mind with that negative self-concept. And it really did show in my reality that people were not approaching me. I did not make new friends. I did not have a boyfriend for that time. I was really not in a receiving state. I wasn't, you know, uh, I wasn't going out to have fun. I was really feeling sad. And again, the universe was just showing me that, how I was feeling inside, what my self-concept was, was what was happening in my outside world. And this is a concept that is not new. In fact, Neville Goddard, the father of modern, um, the father of mo modern <laughs> manifestation, describes this as everyone is you pushed out. 
And what that means is whatever you feel thankfully you focus on about yourself is what people will feel thankfully about and focus on when it comes to responding to you, reacting to you, and treating you, you know? So for this week, really have a go at what your self-concept is. If you do a deep dive and find that there are some, if you uncover some things that you realize that you haven't been kind to yourself uh, when it comes to that topic, then you can easily change that. For example, for me, my, again, my self-concept, my, the idea of, of who I was, I was telling myself that I was fat and ugly, you know, but now I flip, I flipped that around and I said that, hey, I actually do enjoy my curves. I have, I have big boobs, I have a big butt, I have a really nice, you know, like hourglass shape because of my big boobs and my big butt. And I'm really embracing that. And that's something unique that people notice about me in a good way. And that's something that I get compliments for. So I actually did turn that around. And now when people approach me, when men approach me, that's the first thing that I actually tell me that I have a great figure. So that's one thing, that's one way to do it. As for my emotional unavailability, I would always, I remember that I would always tell myself that I am emotionally available and I'm ready to experience fun from all the new friends that I'm going to make. I'm ready to experience love from the man who, who sees me as, as really, as a great person who, who recognizes the vibration of, of me being a great person, you know? And yeah, that's really all there is to it. Because sometimes our self-concept, well actually most of the time, our self-concept is really the only thing that's blocking us from living a great and really truly exceptional, beautiful life altogether. Okay? So have a look at what your self-concept is. If you're telling yourself good stuff, good stuff, then great, just go ahead and keep doing that. But if you're telling yourself negative things and you actually did uncover that, then it's time to change that. It's time to change the story of what you're telling yourself. And you really do owe it to yourself to think the best of yourself because this is the key to a better life, a great and harmonious existence, you know, and great relationships all around, not just with people, but with things, with the situations, even your job, the dynamic at your job, the dynamic of your family, your friends, your loved ones, your pets, you know, your business, everything in between, all right? So have a look at your self-concept. If you uncover negative things, flip them around. If you uncover good things, keep going, okay? So I hope that was helpful, and I hope you took a lot out of this. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. If you have any comments or suggestions, you want to say hey, just comment down below. If you would like to receive notifications of my new videos, videos, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you would like your very own tarot reading or Reiki healing session with me, online from our course, here are your details. And that's it for now. Stay happy, stay healthy, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.